Hello, my friends, and welcome. So glad you could join me. Today we're going to be looking at my begonias. And right now it's actually coming to the close of the growing season. So I'm faced with this dilemma where if I leave them out, then what's going to happen is they are going to get frostbitten. They're going to become a big pile of mush. I've seen it happen before to one of my neighbors and it was not a pretty sight. So I certainly don't want to have that happen to me. But um, there are different options that I have that I can look at and we'll see what works best. You'll see I have some beautiful colors here. You know, I have the pinks, I have the reds, and I have the whites. Bear in mind though that these are actually wax begonia, so we don't have the option to dig out the tubers that look a little bit like a ginger root. We don't have the option to dig those out. So what we'll have to do is, one, either bring them indoors, which I'm gonna do for this one right here, this pink one, you notice that some of the blooms look a little spent on there so you can always go in and just pinch them off and then they'll spring for you um, inside the next thing that we can do is we can take them out and just plant some cool weather flowers such as pansies and kale violas you know those ones that can handle the cold the next thing is that we can actually go in and trim it all the way down just a little bit above the soil level and then having done that then what you will do is you will go in and you have to add some mulch and there are different types of mulch that you can use I prefer to use the pine bark mulch you know it's a little bit large but it works for me and I'll show you what it looks like right here it should be coming out any second now there you are and you, of course, you have like cypress mulch, you can use other types like that. So what you do is cut it down way down low and then you put the mulch over, give it a good soak. And then after you have done that, then you just leave it maybe next to your house. So that way it can be a little bit protected from the elements out there. My crotons right here, I definitely will be bringing those inside because those are so very tropical, they will not be able to make it outdoors. And by the way, I've had success with begonias in the past where they have come back after I left them outside. So it can be done. It just depends on how, you know, cold it gets in your area. So you'll have to make that decision because it really is a 50-50 chance that it might happen for you. So I hope that my video helped you. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell for future videos on home and garden topics. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the fall season.